going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome to the final score. I'm AJ Good starting things off right here in Lawrence County where Loretto had a big game in the first round tonight. It's the first home playoff game for the Mustangs since the mid 2010s and they had a traditional power in Peabody standing in their way. First home playoff game for the Mustangs since 2014, taking on the Golden Tide from Peabody. Here first drive for Loretto Mason Tibwell gets picked off by Quintarius Brooks. And he would take this one 31 yards to the house, putting Peabody up 7 to nothing. But the Mustangs would respond. Next drive, Tibwell rolls out, finds a wide open Corbin Reynolds, and he will do the rest. Makes a couple guys miss, cups up field. 69 yards later, he takes it to the checkerboard, tying the game up at seven. Moving ahead now to the second quarter, Brooks gets the toss and finds an open seam into the end zone. It's a five-yard score. Peabody led 14 to 10 at the half. Here in the third quarter, things get crazy. Jaden Stoltz with a three-yard touchdown run, putting the Mustangs up 17 to 14. Then back come the Golden Tide. Landon Yarbrough finds a wide open Jaden Jennings. He would take this one 50 yards into the end zone. Peabody now leads it 21 to 17, but the Mustangs respond. Tib well. Launches it downfield and finds a wide open Clint Seymour. He does the rest, takes it 76 yards into the end zone. Loretto now leads it 24 to 21. Ensuing kickoff here for Peabody, it's Jaquan Kinney. Getting it at the 24-yard line, gets some great blocking downfield. Gets to the sidelines, and they're not going to get him. It's a 76-yard kickoff return for a touchdown, putting the Golden Tide up 28-24. to Here late in the fourth, final shot for Loretto Tidwell. Gets picked off by Jamarcus Hayes, and that will do it as the Mustangs' historic season comes to an end in the first round, losing 28-24. to Coming up next, we stay in Class 2A to check in with Mount Pleasant and Lewis County. McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to the final score, staying in Class 2A where Mount Pleasant had to hit the road in the first round. The Tigers were taking on a traditional power in Riverside, the same team that knocked them out of the playoffs a year ago. And the Tigers season came to an end in Decatur as they fall to Riverside 50-6. Mount Pleasant ends the year at 8-3. Now over to home and Walbur, Lewis County was at home in the first round as they were taking on Milan. The Panthers season comes to an end at home as they fall to Milan in the first round 40-6. Lewis County ends the year at 9-2. Coming up next, we head on up to Wayne County to check in with Collinwood and also check out all the action that went down in Lauderdale County, Alabama tonight. It's time for some straight talk about zero-turn mowers. Husqvarna zero-turn performance mowers with rugged commercial drive give you high performance and a comfortable ride. 
Heavy-duty frame and chassis, commercial hydraulics take no punishment. With warranties now up to five years and low financing options, there's no competition. For a straight-up deal on the best in professional zero-turn mowers, go straight to your Husqvarna dealer. Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store, featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. Since 1986, Southeast Carriers, Inc. has been a family-owned and operated business in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We strive to have updated equipment and technology to make our driver's job easier. We offer large company pay and benefits with a small company atmosphere. Are you tired of just being a number when you call your current company? Here you will be known on a first-name basis, and all we ask is for you to give us an opportunity to prove that we are different than most trucking companies. For more information, visit Southeast Carriers. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Welcome back to the final score. Now up in Wayne County where Collinwood was back at home in the first round of the playoffs. It's the first home playoff game for the Trojans since 2020 as they were taking on a familiar face in McEwen. Collinwood will stay alive and advance to the second round with a 37-7 win over McEwen. A mix of Trojans will take on McKinsey next Friday. Now it's time to check out all the action that went down in Lauderdale County, Alabama tonight. Starting first with Rogers, who topped Lexington 29-26. Lauderdale County goes to 10-0 with a 33-3 win over Brooks. Central shuts out Ardmore 28-0. Wilson lost at Lawrence County 42-6. And Shoal Christian loses at Addison 44-6. That does it for the final score. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys tomorrow night for the Saturday Night Tailgate. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.